The Invasion of Time, 7 out of 10. The Doctor returns to Gallifrey to become President-elect of the High Council of Time Lords. Whilst I criticised the last serial for being predictable and treading over old ground, the same could never be said for this story. From the first episode, we're introduced to new rooms in the TARDIS, and personally I can't think of a better reason to introduce a swimming pool than Leela, and uh, to a complete departure in the character of the Doctor. One of the Doctor's main characteristics is an unswerving challenge of authoritarian rule and a rejection of any positions of power awarded to him. Yet in the first episode, we see him return to Gallifrey with the distinct and almost aggressive intention of taking the place of High President of the Council of Time Lords. Of course, there's always a cunning ruse behind every uncharacteristic action. Yet the writing is good enough to make the whys and the wherefores e not easy to estimate. The elements of the story do seem slightly disconnected at times. Is this a story about the Time Lords, Sontarans, or the weird tinfoil aliens that come later? However, it's nice to see more of, a of the Doctor's home planet again, and this makes a good companion story to the Deadly Assassins. Take note, box set makers. Even though it's a six-parter, the pace doesn't drag, and this is a notable ending to the season. It's also a nice ending for another of my favourite companions, Leela.